Hello, what's up? Ali here for another updates on the latest PS4 exploit. And we actually have a lot to cover on this video since it's actually looking good right now for the PS4 jailbreak scene. First is the implementation of the C++ on the PPPWN exploit. Though we have already covered this on our last video, but I was not able to share one of the two that had a significant upgrade because of this implementation. And I was actually surprised about the stability and the success rate of this tool. But before we get to that, let me just share one of the newest method of activating the jailbreak. And that is by using a smart TV. And yes, you heard it right. You may now use a jailbroken TV to jailbreak your PS4. But on this method, you will need a LG smart TV since it uses a specific feature or structure present on LG TVs. If this will be available for other models, we may find out soon. But if you want to know more about the new method, you can check it here. You will find the link in our description. Here you will find more about this new method. The good part here is you don't need to change connections for your PS4 since it has always been connected to your TV. So the setup is pretty straightforward. And if you are interested about the whole process, You can find the details here on this link. You will find the method and requirements and also the instruction. Another update we had is something we call the OpenWRTPPPWN by the false philosopher. And that is by using a router to jailbreak a PS4. This is actually a good breakthrough since not everyone has a PC or laptop. Without it, we are left with either a rooted phone or a Raspberry Pi to jailbreak our PS4. One is very expensive and the other one is very complicated. But with a router, things can be a little simpler and cheaper. Though I haven't found a complete guide yet, but as soon as there is one, we'll definitely make a guide for it. In the meantime, you can find more information here. You will find the link on our description. And now for our last update, let us go ahead and download the application first. You will find the link on our description, so just open the link and click on this part and download zip. Then extract the downloaded file. And inside the downloaded folder, we have uh, the PPPWN Lite version. Now let us go ahead and set up our PS4. Let us go to the settings, network, set up internet connection, LAN cable, custom use pppoe use random user id and password automatic automatic do not use then go back open the application click on this part now we'll just have to use our firmware click on the drop down menu and choose your firmware then ok Make sure your PS4 is still directly connected to your PC or laptop. Click on start. Then test internet connection on your PS4. I actually had a lot of a single attempt success when I was testing this a while ago. And it seems that uh, we had another single or first attempt success on this one. Since we clicked test internet connection, it only took 39 seconds to jailbreak the PS4. And uh, to be honest, I'm having a better success rate on this one compared to the PPPWN Go. Now, if you're still having a nightmare activating the jailbreak, I would definitely suggest to try all available tools and check which one works best for your PS4. Since in some cases, it's still a case-to-case -case basis. It's just that for me, this one works the best. But to set up our expectations, don't rely on the results of others. It may still vary depending on the PS4, 
and their setup. Just always make sure to stay up to date with the updates and if it fails around 3 straight times, stop the application, disconnect the Ethernet cable on both PS4 and PC, reconnect, and try again. So this will be it for now. If you are still having some issues, concerns, and suggestions, please go ahead and share them on our comment section and I will definitely address them. And again, my name is Ali. If you find this video helpful, please go ahead and like and subscribe and I will definitely see you on our next video. Bye-bye.